eye to what happens to them please look up don't worry you will write what is the difference between falling in church and falling in a restaurant young lady as I'm teaching right now, if the power of God carries you up and lands you down, you get up rejoicing. And even your seat may say, my God, he has visited you. Versus, you fall down in a restaurant. You fell down. You, the worst fall may even be here. What is the difference? It's not the falling down. It's the meaning that you attach to that experience. That's what causes depression. That's what causes joy. It is never what happens to you that has that power to destroy you. You have associated happenings around your life and you have connected them to certain meanings. There are events that mean failure to you. There are events that mean weakness to you. There are events that mean oppression to you. What is making someone cry is another person's desire. Someone will cry and say, I got only one million. It's a meaning you connected to it. That based on your level, one million is a testimony of a failure. Whereas for someone, that one million, he would talk about it as though, I mean, he just got to heaven. Now you write, please. People are not affected by what happens to them. They are affected by the meaning they connect to the happenings. People are not really affected by what happens to them they are affected by the meaning that they connect to those happenings this is the reason why comfort and counseling is powerful what happens when you are comforted what happens when you are being counseled your perceptions are being changed that's all the situation is not being solved necessarily. It is your perception. For instance, if you lose a loved one because of the pain, or let's, let me use something more, more bearable. You lose a job and you get angry and angry and someone sits with you down and says, do you know, perhaps the Bible says all things work together for good. Is that true? Watch what is happening to you now. The person says, I know the story of someone who lost a job and did not know it was a springboard to the next level. At the end of it, the person who was crying 10 minutes ago is now suddenly rejoicing. Did you give the person a job? No, you change the meaning associated to that situation. Can I tell you, when you learn this principle, you can laugh through storms.